guys, what's up? I'm Nick, owner and founder of County Cycle, and today we're gonna talk about the 2020 Rocky Mountain Slayer C70 27.5. So the Slayer is back for 2020. This time it's completely redesigned. It comes in, of course, both a 29er version and 27.5. The 27.5 oriented a little bit more for the big mountain rider, a bit more gravity oriented, 180, 180 travel front and back. So big bike, mini DH, call it what you will. The 29er, they've scaled it back a little bit due to the bigger wheels. So 170 in the front, 170 in the back. So after a lengthy R&D process, Rocky Mountain decided that they would run smooth wall carbon for the front triangle and form aluminum for the rear triangle. Uh, this is just a way that Rocky Mountain could obviously make the bike make sense in terms of dollars, make sense in terms of strength meets weight ratio. Um, and I think what they ended up with is a bike that you can absolutely plow trails with, with absolute confidence. So the new frame features obviously a change in suspension where the old shock on the older Slayer was mounted down below. Now the shocks mounted up above uh, using their smooth link suspension design. This frame still retains the ride for chip system so the rider can obviously move the chip around and customize the ride kinematics uh, to their taste and weight and terrain. So with this new four bar suspension, it's going to balance a lot of variables. Uh, it'll have anti-squat, it's going to dial in axle path, chain growth, uh, rate curve, and anti-rise as well for when you're pedaling. Another cool feature on the new bike is it will actually feature internal cable routing paths. I know mechanics and even home mechanics are gonna be super stoked about that. Um, furthermore, the frame was designed around a coil shock. This is a big one and it's getting a lot of praise already in its reviews. Basically the coil just makes the bike a lot more fluid, uh, gives it a better ramp curve, uh, and will just make it feel more sensitive on small bumps when you're really laying it down on the trails. Another thoughtful feature with the new bike is shuttle guard. Uh, <laughs> another favorite feature of mine are the shuttle guards down to protection and anti-chain slap protection on the rear chain stays. Drivetrain on the C70 is handled by Shimano in the rear end. We've got the new M8100 12-speed uh, system, so 10 teeth on the bottom, 51 teeth on the top. Uh, and in the front end, it's interesting, on the 27.5, we've got a 34 tooth uh, narrow wide ring by race face coupled with a turbine crank uh, 34 tooth on the 27 5 32 teeth on the 29er so coupled with the turbine crank and the 34 tooth chain ring we also get one ups bash guard uh, along with Rocky Mountains in-house spirit guide Brakes are handled by Shimano, the levers are the M8100s, the calipers are quad piston 8120s. So RockShox handles the suspension on this platform here. Up front we've got the RockShox Lyric Ultimate RC2 and in the back end we've got the Super Deluxe Coil Ultimate. Handlebars are handled by Raceface. This is the Atlas 35 clamp. The stem is a 35 in-house, 40mm, nice and short and stout. Seat post handled by 1UP and the saddle is a WTB Rocky Mountain collaboration with a really cool Jason Mask and Slayer graphic on it. Rocky Mountain laces their wheels in-house. We've got Raceface AR30 offset rims coupled with, uh, in the front, a 110 boosted in-house Rocky Mountain CNC alloy hub. In the rear end, DT Swiss's uh, 370 ratchet system with a 148 boost axle spacing. Out of the box, you're gonna get two race face tubeless valves with your rim setup. Uh, tires are handled by Maxxis. Up front, we've got the Minion DHF 2.5 wide trail. In the back, we've got the Aggressor. Again, 2.5 wide trail. Both of them feature the double down casing. So that about wraps it up, guys. The 2020 Rocky Mountain Slayer C70 27.5. So please give this video a like, subscribe to our page. Make sure you turn on notifications so you know when the next video is up. And thanks for joining us. Follow the page. <laughs> <laughs> it's so busy today. I know. It's weird. It's kind of funny how like you stop at a